I couldn't believe I had to spend my first week of summer vacation on an astronomy field trip. Mr. Jensen and Miss K were dragging eight of us to the most desolate spot in the lower 48, high atop the Tavaputs Plateau, supposedly the best place to view the night sky. All I could think about was missing the Ramones reunion tour at Salt Air. No, it's fine. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm, I'm sure. Okay. Uh, yeah, be careful with that. Don't worry about it. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> What's in the box, freak boy? Huh? My Walkman wasn't loud enough to drown out the drone of that little X Files dork. Slater has to pee. Slater has to pee. Traveling with that crowd was tougher than getting Marilyn Manson to play with the church choir. Yo, Hayden, you know what I'm going to do when I get to the most desolate spot in the lower 48? What? I'm going to spike the ball and claim it mine because I had the first touchdown. Good for you. Trying to make conversation with Peter was more difficult than dinner conversations with my stepfather. Mr. Jensen was obviously not the only one that had read the article in Outside Magazine. That place was far from barren. Maybe it was once a wild place on the map, but not anymore. The attitude was sour before we even began unpacking. Four hours on a gnarly washboard road, only to be gawked at by some lanky redhead. <laughs> Please. All the way, 100 yards, throws it, throws it, right? And it's you can see home. Go along, man. Just go along. I'll show you. Just like, just no, don't worry. Just like, 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 Hey, could you wash this for me? I'm gonna go to the bathroom. Okay. Yeah. Thanks. I couldn't figure out Peter's attachment to the creature in the box. My music was the only thing that seemed to crack his melancholy facade.
not even think about it. Hey. Nice time. Thanks for watching that. Yeah. Ah. Somebody help me. <laughs> And if you can't keep it on a real level with that, then... Actually, yeah, Venus is real tourist. The, look, there's a no, bug on the hook. Yes, no, there's no rolling of plants. Try some bug spray. No I've bugs. already put on bug oh spray. Oh. Hello? Hey, dude. Oh, yeah. oh, come on. Actually, yeah. Venus is real tourist. No, it doesn't. Yes, no, there's no rolling of plants. Try some bug spray. I've already put on bug spray. Oh, my God. Hey, dude. Hey, dude. Hey, dude. Come on. I don't believe this. I don't believe this. Turn that thing off. Oh, my gosh. Turn there. Calm down, bug boy. I've got your butterfly right here. Open up the runways, Hannibal. She's coming in. Whoa. We were starving. Thoughts of sleeping under a roof that night, minus the bugs, slightly lifted the group's spirit. Leave it to Josh the Jock, though, to shatter the only ounce of optimism we had. So did you guys see the look on his face when the butterfly hit the windshield? Oh, man. Yeah, we saw it. We were great about it. Oh, come on. It's not like I meant to kill it. He's a freak. Besides, it's just a stupid bug. It doesn't matter if you meant to kill it. The fact is that you did. You don't know what significance it has to him. You were the only person that laughed. And all you do is pick on Peter when he hasn't done a thing to you this whole trip. What is Snyder doing? Are you a believer? Existence relies on the alignment of the planets and stars. What's your sign? Peace. I couldn't have cared less about insects, but this obviously wasn't just another bug to Peter. So uh, are you gonna swim? No. Okay, listen, I'm really sorry. It's just that Josh is such a jerk. You said you wouldn't tell anybody. You lied. Yeah. Do you want to get in right now? Well, let me put some lotion. Let's put some lotion in it. Well, me to. I'm gonna go. All right. I wouldn't recommend that. Why? I detected an unknown element in the water. <gasps> I guess I'm not gonna go in. We're going in. No. Schedule again. If you need to relax, I just barely finished pouring in my Yaka Horsetail Willow Rejuvenation Mix. I felt responsible for Peter's latest hole of gloom. And to make things worse, we were off to the non air conditioned night sky museum to hear a two hour lecture on a Saturday in the summer. This sucked. I couldn't believe my friends were at home rocking out to Zebra Head and I was being subjected to the Dr. O'Brien circus sideshow. I can't understand how someone can be so obsessed with events taking place 17 million light years away. <laughs> Get a life. Most of the objects in the universe are moving away from us at over 90% of the speed of light. And in order to determine when those objects are going to slow down and come to a halt, we must determine the Hubble constant. And that is what I've been working on for the last three years. That will show us and give us some of the clues to when our own universe is going to compress 
back into the size of a pea. Compress, compress, compress. Compress, compresses, compresses. Compress. Excuse me, excuse me. Compress, compress, Com compress into the size of a pea. Compress. Anyway, tonight we will be working on looking at supernovas in the form of nebulas. So we can look forward to seeing those nebulas in the telescopes tonight. You will all be working on assignments at my house. Thank you. I'll see you at the house. Dr. O'Brien's lecture was amazing. Don't you guys think? Are you kidding me? I'd rather watch golf than hear that lecture again. It wasn't all that bad, but... And it was. Astronomers are so narrow-minded. <laughs> Most people are. Well, I can't believe he didn't touch on Heinegger's theory of antimatter. But you know what? His converse were kind of cute. I kind of know how you feel, though. He didn't even include anything about horoscopes or auras or anything else. Wait, though, Soleil, this field trip was for the astronomy class, not astrology. That's why I'm here. But never mind. So, what I want you kids to do for our observation tonight is research the coordinates of the nebula I will assign you and then figure out the mass for each of those neutron stars that once existed. Mr. Jensen wanted you two to work together. Get to work. Do you think we should get started? Yeah, whatever. Do you know how to do the assignment? Uh, well... Uh, 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 well, uh, uh, what? It's always my favorite time at school outings, the group bonding activities. Hi, Peter. Would you mind if I gave you a foreshadowing? What's that, like a fortune telling? Kind of, but let's just say you'll have to trust me on this. Trust. I've had enough issues with trust on this trip. Thank you, though. Peter, please, I'll make it worth your while, I promise. Okay, let's just make it quick. Okay, great. Close your eyes. Okay, now, just release everything. All your frustrations and problems. Is this gonna take much longer? Um, well, Peter, I sort of feel that you have the attitude of a caterpillar. Like, maybe you're not so much noticed, but in the future, people will adore you like they adore caterpillars when they turn into butterflies. There. Don't you feel better? I'm gonna go read some auras now. See ya. I hated roasting marshmallows at that ranch house. It reminded me of camping with my relatives down in Paragona. Haiti and her California-isms, and Soleil with her crystal obscured New Age world were just as annoying. I'm surprised I survived that last night. I was ready to drag myself across those hot coals. And his leg. Why do you always let those marshmallows light on fire? Dude, what's your problem? I kept my terrarium so clean. I feel so bad. I'm going after him. Josh, go with her. I'm not going with her. I Josh. didn't cause that crap. Josh, yes you are. Come on. I felt bad for Peter. Bits and pieces had slowly emerged about his miserable home life and the female figurehead that obviously controlled him. In no way was Peter going to let that butterfly die in the confines of a terrarium, smothered by the presence of that evil woman. Somebody help! Honey, 
Bug boy. Hey, bug, bug boy. Help me up, man. I don't owe you anything. Peter. Peter, please. Peter. It took you so long. It took us so long. Yeah. What are you doing out here? What does it look like I'm doing? I'm calling 911. 911? I've been. Camp is 100 yards away. Oh my gosh, let's, let's just. You guys, I've made contact. how to describe this surreal event. Maybe it was just my overly eager anticipation of getting home. It was more than that, though. Maybe it was just that distinctive glow of a Utah desert sunset. They all just came flying through the windows, though. Katie's cell phone was dead, Snyder made contact, and Josh's mouth was closed. <laughs> a truly rare event. Oddly enough, Soleil's foreshadowing seemed to have come true. No, I didn't say true, just a rough resemblance of the truth. Finally, Peter was smiling. I often wonder what happened to the butterfly boy. into the size of a pea. <laughs> compress. Compress. Compresses. Compresses. Compress. 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 Size of a pea. 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 Compress. Compress. 